When most people see me, they go, there's that idiot that doesn't know much about cars. Well, as it turns out, I don't know much about a wide variety of subjects. But one thing I do know about is calculator watches from the 80s. That's right. I wore so many different calculator watches as a youth. From very young age through to sort of adulthood, I was wearing calculator watches. Why? Because I thought they were so cool. I kind of still do. <laughs> I know, I know. But there is a time when I was an even bigger loser than I am now. Let me draw your attention to this photograph. Note, the pocket protector, the, the short sleeve shirt, the black leather tie, maybe a decade after they'd gone out of fashion, and the gold calculator watch. <laughs> I know, ladies form an orderly queue. <laughs> but back to the present day, what type of watch do I wear now? Uh, this is a question that I get asked on it, just about every single video I make, and it's really not exciting. I'm not a watch, fancy watch guy. I don't have Rolexes or anything like that. I think much to people's disappointment. I think people expect me for some reason to wear fancy watches, and I don't. Uh, the watch I wear these days is a beat up old Tissot T-Touch. Let me show you. So this is the Tissot T-Touch 2. It's basically an analog watch with a digital screen and a touch display. What does the touch display do? Um, well. It's got a bunch of features around the outside, so uh, this particular watch can give you barometric pressure, your altitude, height off sea level, um, a stopwatch and a countdown alarm, which is kind of useful when you're a pilot, a compass, so you point it this way and then it'll show north, uh, which is also kind of useful, uh, an alarm, uh, temperature, and back to the barometric pressure. I actually use it as a pilot to, to check the barometric pressure. So it's quite a useful watch if you're a pilot, um, but it's not that expensive and um, you know, it's not that flashy. So that's the watch I wear today. But in the good old days, I wore calculator watches. <laughs> so why on earth would anyone wear a calculator watch? Uh, well, before the time of cell phones, everybody put telephone numbers in a little book. But not me, because I had the Casio Data Bank watch. Because not only was it a classy looking timepiece, um, but with a calculator, but it also had a 50 telephone number data bank. You could store 50 telephone numbers in here, and if you press this button here, you could even put in a secret code and store all your PIN numbers and your um, credit card numbers, all your secret, secret numbers, your secret girlfriend, whatever, in there, and even if you lost the watch, no one could get into that. Of course, it also had alarms. This one featured 50 different alarms, so you could set up scheduled alarms for all your appointments, and it would show up on the top line there, a bit like the calendar on your iPhone today. And of course, a calculator, world time for those world travelers, an alarm. Of course, the alarm had the chime function, so that it would go beep beep every hour. And back in the day, if you were in a cinema watching a movie and, the, and it rolled past eight o'clock or nine o'clock, little uh, horrible watches like this would beep all over the cinema. It was good times back then. And of course, uh, fi finally it had a, um, a countdown timer and a stopwatch. So many features. I love this watch and I paid the extra $25 to get the gold plated model because I figured girls would not only be dead impressed that I had a calculator watch with a database on it, but they would be doubly impressed that I'm clearly a man of means because I have a gold plated calculator watch. A little earlier in my nerd years, I had this watch. This is a scientific calculator watch. This is perhaps the ugliest watch anyone has ever made. If you count the buttons, it has 24 buttons around it. This particular model is the most collective of my watches. A, a good version of this watch or similar watches now reach up to $1,000 because engineering nerds love these watches. Basically, the functions on this watch are designed to mimic a Casio FX81. Every single function you have on an old Casio FX81 uh, scientific calculator, you can get on this calculator. See, like right now, it's got pi on there. If I press execute, it shows pi. Um, or if I go through all the other functions up here, sin, cos, tan, all the stuff you'd normally see on a scientific calculator, they managed to cram onto this watch. Hmm, <laughs> so cool. So cool. But yeah, this is by far my most collectible watch, and I've got a couple of these. But by far my most favorite watch is this watch. This is my very first calculator watch that I got when I was a youngster with freckles. Um, and it's still running fine, although there's a little bit of LCD starting to leak into the display, but you know, we're talking, <laughs> this is a very old watch now and it's still running fine. And the special feature of this watch is 
Uh, it's got lots of features, of course. It's got a calculator, it's got a stopwatch, it's got an alarm, it's got dual time. Um, but this is the special feature. It's a game watch as well. It's got the number attack game, uh, which is just an awesome game. What you do, start it. Okay, so here we go. Here's a four and a three and a six. So we'll go the, the four and the six, which adds up to 10. Then you get the number invader. See that in there? And that's bonus points. And then you kill off the others. Like so until you've killed all the numbers on the screen and you finish a round. Get those sevens and that zero. Woohoo! Finished a round. Such a cool game. So there's the answer to the question. Most of the time I wear a beat up old Tissot watch because it does everything I need, but if I really want to impress, I put on a calculator watch. Because nothing says this guy doesn't care what other people think more than a calculator watch. You guys should get one. Thank you.